The Real Opinion is brought to you by Rainstorm Car Wash. Get in and get clean today. And now we're joined by the man with the real opinion, Mr. Gino Reynolds, kind of uh, on the eve of Ebert Fest next week. Oh, we're yeah. getting excited about it. So, uh, Very. And, and Place Beyond the Pines is what you went and saw. Yeah, I, dro I drove to Chicago last okay, week. Okay, a little bit of a hike. Yeah, uh, w it, was it worth the trip to Chicago? No. Okay. But it was, still was a very good movie. So if it comes around here, I highly recommend that people go see it. Okay, so we should uh, just kind of give a, a little warning here. Uh, Ryan Gosling is in this movie, so yeah. Samantha and maybe some other ladies who who are fans would want to go see. I this. don't know if she's gonna. Li I don't know if she's gonna like Ryan Gosling in this movie. Ooh, he's he's kind of okay. dark in this movie. Uh, maybe, and I honestly think this was just as good a character as his character in Drive. Okay. Yes. So I really like this character in one of his best. Not maybe not as good, but very very close and okay then, so what what's the concept behind this it, it, well there's three stories there's ryan gosling's story he is a uh, carnival motorcycle rider who travels and he, he comes back to a town uh a, a year after he's been there and he finds out that uh, he has had a child with eva mendez oh. and she goes to see him can't tell him and then he finds out and he quits his job instantly to stay around and help take care of the baby. Mm -hmm. The second story is Bradley Cooper. He plays a rookie cop that uh, gets involved in a shooting. He gets shot and there's a whole thing about police corruption and stuff like that. Okay. And it's, it's about his career. And the third story is about their children. They each have, of course, a child. They each have an infant child at the same time. And we, they jump 15 years and they cover uh, these two kids oh, wow. meeting. Okay, so, so there's sort of, it, it kind of plays with the time. Of, yeah, it's not just all in the same. It all frame. it all goes together in the end, and it's a very good story. the The third act might have been maybe the weakest, but not because of the story. It's more because of one actor. the The kid that played Bradley Cooper's kid was ridiculously bad. Oh, but okay. but Dane DeHaan, who was uh, the, the quote unquote villain in Chronicle, uh, carries that whole segment. Uh, for the other actors, so I mean it, it kind of evens out because he's such a great actor. He, you know, he does a very good job. All right. Well, I'm kind of intrigued by this. This is uh, it's sort of a mystery. Yeah, it, it involves uh, the Bradley Cooper story involves a bank robber and then police corruption. I can't. It's hard to give away a lot because <laughs> because the way the stories uh, inter intertwine is is part of the fun and and if you know what's going to happen before it happens, it's it's not. Okay. It's going to ruin it. And I just want to say. It's a very good movie. Go see it if it comes around here. Uh, I could see like the Avon maybe getting it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, right now, St. Louis uh, just got it this weekend. Closest. So that's, that's the closest it's going to be right now. Okay, sounds good. So uh, what do we have on the blog next week? We've on the blog next stuff. week, I will be previewing Ebert Fest on Wednesday. I learned some things last year, some things you need to bring, some things you need to know before you go. I'm going to try to preview on anyone that's going to go see it, try to preview on what things you should bring with you, what things you shouldn't bring with you. <laughs> Not saying I broke any rules, but okay. I, I did see some people break some rules and it was kind of funny. Well, I was going to say, I mean, how easy is it? This is something I think everybody might want to know who's going to Ebert Fest. How easy is it to like line the pockets of whatever year with, with candy, <laughs> popcorn, anything? Well, there's a funny story. I took my video camera in because I had a press pass. Oh, okay. And so I'm, I'm nervous taking that in there and I open up my bag and I said, well, there's a camera in there. And they say, oh, we don't care. We just want to make sure there's no food in there. <laughs> so it was kind of funny that they weren't worried about the, the movies being filmed, but they were worried about you bringing in Twizzlers. Okay, So, yeah. you know, not too bad. Just I just want to cover, you know, there's some things, like I said, where to sit, things like that, that I think people should know before they go. Right, kind of like a, a, a viewer's guide. I like that. Something like that. Okay, yeah. um, and uh, some of the cool movies there, I think one that caught my eye was Bernie, Jack Black's uh, new mm -hmm. movie. Um, and I believe that's already on Netflix. If yeah, you, uh, I have not seen see it. it. I, I I like to go to Eberfest not see. I have seen the movies. Yeah. It's just that way it's a new experience because I'm going to be reviewing the movies themselves on my blog. Great. So if I haven't seen them, I think it's a little more fun if it's all new to me. All right. Thanks a lot, Gino. Thank and you. good luck with that next week. We appreciate it. And we'll be right back. The Real Opinion is brought to you by Rainstorm Car Wash. Get in and get clean today.